here to news now you're taking a live look at how the market is doing right now down almost 700 points we saw it get there go a little bit uh, more right there though 700 points down and now we're going right to Wall Street Fox businesses Deidre Bolton with an update on what exactly is happening today how you doing today yeah hi Mike, well, as you can see, selling across the board, you just referenced the Dow down close to 700 points. And right at the open, we were down 450, which uh, many investors thought was bad enough. But as the session has gone on, we are making new lows. So if you look at the groups that are really dragging down the overall markets, you will see it is pretty much affecting everything. So there's 11 key groups that comprise the S&P 500. Ten out of the 11 are lower. So you look at technology. This is the biggest weight. Then industrials. You also have financials and consumer discretionary. The idea on that last one is that if the U.S. economy slows down, if consumers, because consumers are hurt by the increasing trade tiff between the U.S. and China, that they will begin to slow their spending. So you're really just seeing selling across the board. The only group, Mike, that is hanging in there and by ever so slight a margin is utilities, which most people recognize as a very defensive pattern. Another indicator of this very defensive pattern is the fact that you are seeing people buying treasuries, U.S. 10 years. So you have, as they buy those, you have the yields at their lowest point since mid-March. So overall, a very defensive stance. Now, I've been speaking with traders here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. One of note, John Corpina, just talking to him about what is likely to happen next. And he says the concern among investors is literally there. He says this jockeying between China and the U.S. is certainly affecting the way that investors see the markets. And there is no tell on how the Trump administration will react to China's latest jab. And of course, as we know, the Trump administration imposing tariffs last week, China retaliating today, and this great unknown as to how or with the U.S., how or if the U.S. will respond is in fact what's putting pressure on the markets, Mike. And Deidre, what happened on Friday where it seemed like at the end of the market close there was some optimism as uh, it really had a turnaround day and now today we're really seeing it uh, backfire. Well, you bring up a good point. Uh, Friday was really the only green day in a sea of red all last week. And of course, if you like, it was the same theme last week. These worries about just how intense this trading tiff between the world's two largest economies was going to be. So Friday, you did have a little bit of that shrugging off. But just keep in mind, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the markets had all closed lower by significant amounts. So Friday, some people saw as, OK, there were some investors coming in seeing where they could find value and after four previous days of selling began to buy a little bit on Friday. Another thing that's hurting sentiment which certainly did affect Friday's trade as well is that one of the biggest private companies on Friday went public, Uber, but I just want to highlight that Uber is also moving lower for its second trading day in history. A lot of people concerned that while the company has a lot in sales, it actually makes no profits and that is a very similar pattern to what we saw from its smaller competitor Lyft which went public at the end of March and beginning to make investors question whether or not by the time these issues are coming to market if there's any value left in them Mike yeah definitely not a uh, good couple of days there for the start of that IPO no. uh, Deidre Bolton thank you so much for breaking it all sure. down for us right here on news now we do appreciate it